Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. Sorry for the noise, but uh, hopefully I'll, I'll help some others solve the same problem I've been having with my uh, K40 eBay laser cutter. And this is the problem right here. So. Notice how slow it's moving. This is supposed to be moving at 100 millimeters per second, but uh, it's far from that. And, and it's, this has been sort of a frustrating piece since I've gotten it. So let me go ahead and stop this for a second, and then uh, we'll come back and uh, I'll explain a little bit more. Okay, now that we got the noise turned off, and sorry for about the 3D printer noise in the background, printing out some parts. So, as you saw, ever since I've got this, when I use Corel Draw, and only when I use Corel Draw, it moves like that, no matter what I set the speed to, in, 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 when I'm using the driver in Corel Draw. Now, if I use Laser Draw, it works perfectly fine. I can change it, and it changes just fine. So, this has been driving me nuts. I've been trying all kinds of setting changes and things like this. Uh, to fix the problem because this is just simply is unworkable like this, right? So I finally found the problem and I wanted to share this with uh, my viewers. So in case you're having a problem like this, you can you, you know how to fix it. You don't have to spend weeks like I have trying to figure it out and that kind of stuff. So let's go over to the computer for a second. And so here's the, the screen. And again, sorry, this is Windows XP. Uh, Actually, sorry, I just wanted to turn that off so it doesn't make as much noise. So basically what we're going to do is we have this up here, and we're going to open up the driver. And um, you know, this is probably going to complain because this is turned off. Uh, we'll see if we can do it. If not, I'll just turn the, the, turn it back on. So a, a, a couple things is I've seen a couple other videos and, and um, well this isn't the problem setting these to WMF um, uh, you know is a good thing just in general but that's not the problem so I'm gonna click OK uh, here and it's not gonna let me do it I'm gonna have to turn the noisy thing back on again hang on a quick second okay we had to turn it back on so it does its thing here hopefully it'll Hopefully it's doing its thing down here. This may not have liked it. Let, let, let me reset this and come back. Okay, sorry for that. Uh, hopefully you can see this. So this is your atypical laser screen, right? For the driver. What you want to do is go up here to Properties. And then you want to go over to Motherboard. And hopefully you can see this because I'm taking a picture of the screen. And for me, my motherboard was M1. Basically what I did is I just went through and I just kept trying different motherboards. I just actually kept trying different settings all the way through. And so now with M1, that seems to have solved the problem. So um, again, what I want to do is so I've got M1 selected. And I'm going to need to pull back here. So I'm going to hit Apply, OK. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to hit start, and then I'm going to add the same task. Now, uh, okay, so you can see here I've selected cutting inside first, speed 100 millimeters per second. Now, I want to go over here. I'm going to turn off the laser because I don't want that now. I've kind of got to do a split arm thing. Sorry about the reach for a second. So now we're going to add task. Now look at that bad boy go now. That's 100 millimeters per second. So this makes me feel a whole lot better. I'm going to stop this. So anyways, uh, again, selecting the right motherboard now. You can see I've got the printer with the digital display instead of the meter and the knob. Um, you know, and I guess the point is, and I've shown other pictures, the, 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 um, the motherboard is actually tucked back away 
up inside there. It's rather dark and I don't want to stick my fingers in there because that big red wire is the high voltage laser um, cable. So I, I've looked at the numbers before and it's it's the, uh, I think it's a nano board or something like that. It's one of the newer boards, not quite the newest, but fairly new. Um, but anyways, that solved the problem. So I feel a lot more happy with it. So anyways, I wanted to share that with you guys, uh, you know, because I've been kind of documenting what I've been doing with the laser. And so, um, you know, hopefully this will help you if you're having this problem and you just simply can't figure it out. Well, it's, it's probably your motherboard selection. So anyways, if this helped you out, if this saved you time, hey, give it a thumbs up. Great to see people are watching. Uh, if you have any other questions about the this type of machine, etc., Hey, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. Um, I've had this now for a month or two, probably about two months. Um, so I've gone through a lot with it, a lot of modifications. Watch the uh, the playlist. I'll put the playlist down below too for all the stuff I've done with this, changing the bed, the um, the pins I've made for it, which have really worked great, uh, the laser alignment, the gimbal I've done, the air assist, the aiming. So all that real good stuff. So anyways, um, thanks again. Like it, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Cheers.